Good evening, and welcome to Old South United Methodist Church and this virtual evening prayer service. It's July 8, 2020. I'm Reverend Jamie Michaels. I'm the senior pastor at Old South United Methodist Church, and I'm so glad that you've taken this time apart for a brief moment of quiet reflection. This Sunday at Old South, we begin a series on creation care. All summer long, we'll be reading stories about the earth, how it was created, what God hopes for it, and how we humans are called to interact with all of creation. So for the next few weeks, uh, weather permitting, I'll be coming to you from the outdoors, and our scripture stories will come not from the daily office, but from the upcoming Sunday lesson. I invite you to take some extra time during these next weeks to enjoy God's creation. If you can bring your device outside as you join in this service, all the better. In this next half hour, I hope you can rest in the stillness, enjoy the beauty of creation, and put down the burdens of this day for a while. This evening service, as all our evening prayer services, uses the setting Holden Evening Prayer. Mostly it's a sung form, it has a leader and an all part. You're invited to sing along with the congregational responses and songs. The words will be on your screen and a singer will lead your responses. As we begin, let us center our breath in our bodies. So close your eyes if you want to and take a big deep cleansing breath in. Letting that breath go all the way down into your belly, trying to keep your shoulders nice and low and exhale. And breathe in again. And as you breathe in, imagine that a warm bright light settles in your belly and radiates out to your fingertips and your toes. It surrounds you and comforts you. And as you breathe out, all of the burdens and the stresses and the anxiety of the day just tumble out with your breath. Allow yourself to come into this moment as you breathe in and out. It is night after a long day. What has been done has been done. What has not been done has not been done. Let it be. The night is for stillness. Let us be still now in the presence of our God.
May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense. And may your presence surround and fill us so that in union with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. Amen. Tonight's psalm is number 12. The psalmist looks around him and hears nothing but lies. He sees people lifting themselves up, boasting and bragging about their accomplishments and all they have built. The psalmist knows that their arrogance separates them from each other and keeps them from seeing one another clearly. It reminded me of um, in 2018, Alison Janney won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actress, and she opened up her acceptance speech with a tongue-in-cheek one-liner. She said, I did it all by myself. Immediately, of course, she goes on to say, okay, there's nothing further from the truth, and then she thanks all the people who supported her and got her where she was. It's not hard today to see the kind of arrogance that the psalmist saw in his own time. We're surrounded by people who can't wait to tell us how good they are. A glance at a well-curated social media page is proof of that. If you're like me, maybe you fall into the trap of believing that everyone is just as good as their Facebook profile makes them seem. And if you're like me, you might be tempted to believe that they achieve all that perfection totally on their own. The psalmist invites us to remember that everyone Yes, everyone depends on God. All the good we're able to do comes from God. All the service, all the beauty, all the love, it all comes from God. We cannot do it by ourselves. And there's a hidden freedom there too, especially for those of us who are perfectionists. We cannot mess it up all on our own. Relying on God means that God is the starting point for everything that we do, and that even in our failures, God is holding us. We are none of us perfect. So as you listen to this psalm, wonder with me, how can you ask God to hold you up amid your imperfections today? Psalm 12. Help, O Lord, for there is no longer anyone who is godly. The faithful have disappeared from humankind. They utter lies to each other. With flattering lips and a double heart they speak. May the Lord cut off all flattering lips, the tongue that makes great boasts. Those who say, with our tongues we will prevail, our lips are our own. Who is our master? Because the poor are despoiled, because the needy groan, I will now rise up, says the Lord. I will place them in the safety for which they long. The promises of the Lord are promises that are pure, silver refined in a furnace on the ground, purified seven times. You, O oh Lord, will protect us. You will guard us from this generation forever. On every side the wicked prowl, as vileness is exalted among humankind. The scripture this evening comes from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verses 6 through 10. Here we are towards the very beginning of the creation story. God created light, and the very next thing God sees in the beauty of that light is water. Water is at the very center of our lives. Scripture and science both tell us that it exists before any life on our planet. Without it, no plants or creatures come to be. As you hear this simple foundational text this evening, think about the water that is right now in and around you. The water in the air, maybe threatening to give us a thunderstorm, in the glass beside you, around you as you bathe, inside your body. Give thanks for the water today. Water is life. Genesis 1, 6 through 10. And God said, Let there be a dome in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. So God made the dome and separated the waters that were under the dome from the waters that were above the dome, and it was so. God called the dome sky, 
and there was evening, and there was morning, the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the sky be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together he called seas. And God saw that it was good. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it.
great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray, saying, Our Father and Mother, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us this evening. Please join us again for evening prayer next Wednesday at 7 p.m. You can find us on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. right here on Facebook Live or YouTube. You can also find information about our church and sign up for our weekly email at www.oldsouthumc.org. Join us this coming Sunday as we begin our series on creation care by diving deep into water stories. If you've been enjoying this evening prayer service and you feel moved to give a financial gift to Old South Church, you can do so by visiting our website. Again, I'm Reverend Jamie Michaels. The peace of all peace be yours this night. Mm -hmm.